What's up everyone? So I'm sorry if I'm not centered. I'm really far away from the camera right now, but I have a super exciting package and I got this from Mercari and you obviously know by the title of this video what it is, but I ordered a Lomography La Sardina DIY camera from Mercari and I'm so excited. Recently I've gotten really into just regular analog film cameras so I am so excited. So I did get it for a fair price, but there are just a couple of things with the camera. So I wanted to make sure that it was okay and everything. So here it is. I can't really tip it over that much, but it's packaged okay. Honestly, it could be a little bit better, but I got two rolls of film which is kind of more or less why I wanted the camera because it came with a lot of things that I would have to pay additional for. So, and then it came with the colored filters and there's obviously a blue one, a yellow and a red, an extra battery for the flash. And then the person also sent me a little mini screwdriver, which is, kind of nice. I don't think that comes with the camera. And then this is the flash. There's paint on it. So yeah, I don't know why the person didn't really advertise it like that, but interesting. So it did come with a flash, but I'm going to see if I could get this stuff off of the camera before I rate the person because again, they didn't really advertise it like that. And then obviously, here is the camera itself. Holy cow, this is a lot smaller than I thought it was. Here's the camera itself. It came with um, washi tape on it, but I'm gonna try and take it off actually, cause I don't want it on there or I'll just cover it up or something. But I'm very confused. I'm gonna ask the person why they didn't send the lens cap with it because I think these cameras come with a lens cap but um yeah so I'm I really wanted one of these cameras but the thing with it is that some of them are just really expensive I've just been trying to grow my camera collection recently and I've just been wanting to try out different things and whatnot so I'm very excited. So it's the next day and I ended up getting really stressed out about this camera because I noticed that the door for the film isn't completely airtight. Like you see how this side doesn't have anything but then the side it just like, it moves and it just makes me like, I don't wanna put any film in it in case it's not airtight because then the film is just gonna get ruined anyway. I tried doing as much research as I possibly could on this camera, but there honestly isn't really that many videos on it. Not even Lomography really talks about a lot of the stuff for it. So, and even on YouTube, like I literally searched La Sardina like camera review and everything like that. And some of the videos are from like seven and three years ago. So it was really hard for me to try and find like the answers to the questions that I had. Like, I think that this is supposed to be the macro setting, but it literally looks like a pair of scissors. But um, I figured that I would just film like taking off the sticker part of it because I just don't like it. And yeah, I'm. I haven't decided if I'm gonna put film in it or not and just like give it a try. Or maybe I'll just like tape it shut or s I don't know. I'm so like, I don't know. I was really just hoping that this would be a different experience. And I've already looked into buying a completely brand new camera just because I already have two packs of film and I was just so excited to use this camera, but I'm gonna take basically everything of this camera off. I think that to decorate it, you're supposed to take off this little circular thing and then the plate that's underneath and then the frame that's around it. But there, I think this is washi tape. I'm hoping that the person didn't like glue it on there or something, but I guess we're just gonna give that a try.
So in case anyone was wondering, I was able to get it off. Basically, make sure that you have someone with long fingernails, but basically you just kind of force your finger in there and there's just like these two little things at the top of this that snap in. I probably should have filmed it, but if someone needs help, comment down below and I will try and explain it the best that I can, but I was able to get all of the tape off which honestly, it wasn't even cute tape. Like, that wasn't even worth it. But I'm gonna put it back together now and figure out what I wanna do with it. So I just put it back together. I'm not sure if these screws are the right ones just because I put, I thought that if you removed this, you could possibly take this off. But I think overall, you know, like I'll just, I think it looks pretty good. Um, it was actually really, really easy, and now, um, I just kind of wanted to talk about some of the different things on here, so, these are basically the only setting changes that you can make. So, MX is for multiple exposures, so after you take a picture, you can just flip it over to the multiple exposures, and you don't have to twist the dial or anything, which is really cool. And then right here in the middle is normal, so it's just regular. But then B stands for bulb mode, which I'm very excited to try out. With bulb mode, you basically just hold down the shutter, and then whenever you're done with it, um, you just release it and turn to the next one. And again, like this is what the door looks like. And then as you can see, like I can close it. And it just makes that noise and this is how I put the back back on so I basically just line it up so I basically just like slide it and then push it down and then see like it clicked a couple of times but then this is still kind of open so I don't know if maybe I should just tape it or if anyone knows, please let me know down below because I don't want to put any film in there just yet, I guess. Or actually, I think I'll just leave it white like this for a couple of days. But yesterday I was just so frazzled about it and I'm still just trying to kind of figure it out. I know how to put film in it. I know everything like that. I just want to make sure that this door isn't going to affect the film in any way before I actually put film in there. But I'm so excited to make more videos with this. I am so sorry that this video is all over the place, but I tried uploading the video so that it would just be the customizing and opening of the video, but it just didn't really feel right having like just a standalone video of me putting the film in. I tried to do as much research as I possibly could before I put film in the camera. I asked Lomography, I asked a bunch of people that also have the camera, and I also just took off the frame that goes on the back plate, and it seems like light shouldn't be able to get into this. It just feels like, um, obviously right now you can't really tell that there is a space and this thing just fell off but it seems like it just naturally doesn't want to lay completely flat on here. I don't remember what I mentioned in the other two videos, but I tried doing a flashlight test and it doesn't seem like light can get through, so I think I should be okay, but I am just gonna put the back on properly and then I'll get into how to put film into your camera. So I actually even put the frame on upside down I guess and it seems that it made it a little bit better which is kind of confusing but it doesn't make that clicking noise anymore so it, now I'm just going to show you guys how to actually put the film in your camera so you just push this little latch thing to get the door off and it comes off like that and then you get your roll of film and then you just want to push up on this little bar that's on the inside just like that you put your film in upside down just like that so that this little part that sticks out on the bottom goes on the bottom of the camera all cameras basically have that same shape to them so it's 
not too difficult. And then once it's in there, you just wanna push this down. Okay, so then the little advancing knob has a little slit in it. I don't know if you can really see that. You basically just wanna pull on your film a little bit and then put it into. So then you wanna make sure that your film is going into this little spiral thing so that as you turn it, your film stays in the roll. And I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see that, but the little turning thing that's right there is going through the sprocket. So you wanna make sure that that is 100% caught on there. And then you just wanna put the film door back on and make sure that it's on there, which mine is. And then you wanna press the shutter once. And then you wanna spin the little advancing wheel until it stops. And then press the shutter again. And then go until it stops. And it is now at the one bar. But as you can see, the arrow is stopped on the one. So now you are ready to shoot with this. And that is basically how you load the film into the camera. I'm so excited to use this. It's really, really light actually, which is really exciting. But um, yeah, I think it looks really, really nice. And I'm just so excited to actually use like my very first analog camera. I actually had a little bit of issues getting the film actually into the slit that's in the advancing roll part of it, but it was pretty easy and I'm just really, really excited. I decided to use the color film first just for a lot of different reasons. But thank you guys so much for watching. This was my whole video on the Lamography La Sardina camera. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to DIY it at all. I think just for right now, I want to leave it the way that it is um, and just kind of think of what I actually want to do um, just so that I don't have to buy any new plates or anything. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry that this video was such a mess, but hopefully, you guys found it helpful comment down below if you need any help with this camera again if your camera has a little bit of space in between here do not worry about it um i've talked to a couple of different people and they have said that their camera does the same thing and it isn't affected and i'll know for sure once i get the film developed but but um i'm really excited to make more videos on it comment down below if you have any questions i will try my best to help and please don't forget to like and subscribe because I'm going to be doing a lot more videos on photography, which I'm so excited about. But yeah, so thank you guys again, and I will see you next time. Bye!